Let me step back and show them the. No, 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 give me that back. This one goes in your mouth. Yeah. So, what we're doing, we're heating up our die. This is what the receiving die looks like. And these are. All I have of these is forces. So, I don't have master hubs. So, we're just going for it with these. So, this is a block of 01 tool steel. And inside there is a is one of these right here. I've got I built fixtures. So that's yes, that's double stick tape. And uh, so that's a really nice one that's gonna be launched off. There's the holder. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this out of here, then I use the wire wheel to clean the slag off the top of the die. Then we strike. And it'll probably take three, four hits, maybe five. Then I pull it out of out of the the die block or the bolster, and I quench it. So that's kind of the thing. Here's Mitch is gonna film it. So I usually leave the uh, forge running just in case something bad happens, so I can pop it back in and keep heating if I need to. So I'm gonna turn on my hammer. When this thing was made in the 1890s, it would have been powered by an overhead line shaft, not an electric motor. But this was probably converted in the 30s or 40s, because the electric motor on it is ancient. So here we go. So I've got to get my... So I don't want to screw up. So this, I've got to tighten this bolt. It's running. And I try not to distract myself. Going or so this is taking a little longer than I anticipated. Centered. Hopefully, uh, looks like it's okay. We'll see in a second. I've got the tempering oven already fired up. They don't have to be dead centered. I mean, it's nice it's if they not. are, but it'll be okay. That one took quite a few whacks. I want to make sure that it's fully sunk. And uh, let's see. These don't even get hot. So we'll pry that off of the bottom. But uh, so what we got to do is you got to wait for the. See, it's still smoking. Gotta wait. Ugh. Yeah, this is the exciting part. <laughs> so I'm gonna do two more today, and hopefully. They're all successful. With any luck. You never know. It's never a perfect science when you're using double stick tape and hundred year old machines. But, uh, anyway, we'll film another one. Thanks for watching.